Hello, in this lesson, I would like to summarize and reinforce the uh, software cracking workflow so that you will remember the proper steps to use whenever you crack any software. So, step one always run the program to observe its behavior. You should run it outside of any debugger. You just want to see what it does. Maybe it will ask you for a serial number and if you enter the wrong serial number, it will give you an error message. Or it could give you a next screen warning you that you have 30 days trial and asking you to buy a license or anything else. So just observe the behavior first. And then second, you will want to load the program in a DIE. DIE is detect easy so that you can analyze the PE, analyze the program executable, which is also known as the exe file. That way you can know what is the proper entry point for the uh, executable. And also, analyzing your DIE can also tell you other things. For example, the packer, if there are any, that are used to compress the file. Then, the third step is to load the program in the x64dbg. And after loading the program in x64dbg, you will want to analyze the instructions and then try to reverse the jumps in order to avoid showing the bad message. The bad message here could be something like wrong serial number or it could be something like which asks you to buy the license for the software. And then you will want to instead try to make the program show the good message. The good message here would be something like for example correct serial number entered or this software has been registered or something like that. So you should try to analyze the jumps and try to reverse the jumps by playing with the ZF flag, the zero flag. And then the step four is to search for a proper instruction to patch and to assemble a new instruction to replace the old instruction. The reason why we patch is because we want to make it permanent. Just modifying the zero flag alone is not permanent. So that's why step four is necessary. And then number five, once you have identified the correct instruction to patch, maybe you want to use a NOP instructions, no, oper no operation instructions, or you want to jump somewhere, so you need to assemble those instructions to replace the old ones. After that, you can patch the file, which is number five, and then load the new patch and test it, and then repeat it again from four and five, four and five. So sometimes you might need to do step four and five repeatedly a few times until you get a patch which satisfies your target that is to make the program do what you want it to do. For example, uh, become a registered software or become a, a remove a next screen which keeps nagging you or to congratulate you on purchasing the software or whatever it might be. So that is the summary of all the steps 1 to 5 which you always follow whenever you crack any software. So that is all. Thank you very much.